capillary tubes there are considerably different than the TXV. So these are some things you need to remember when you are troubleshooting the cap tube systems and how they respond to head pressures and load. So a cap tube is designed to provide a certain amount of refrigerant at a specific pressure drop between the inlet and the outlet of the cap tube. So if the pressure increases at the inlet of a cap tube, there's going to be more refrigerant forced through there. So let's think about this. So if the ambient temperature outside drops, that lowers the condenser pressure and that pushes less refrigerant to the evaporator, which will result in higher superheat. Uh, and now if the load on the evaporator drops, which means um, cold product is put in there, um, there is going to be more refrigerant than needed for the load and you will have lower than normal superheat. Now on the flip side of that, outdoor ambient temperature increases. That increases the head pressure of the condenser and that increases the refrigerant being pumped into the evaporator and that gives you the result is lower superheat and and if you put hot product in that box there's just not enough refrigerant um, to keep that load at the temperature that it needs it boils that refrigerant off much sooner than it needs to and the superheat increases pretty important stuff to remember cap tubes tend to be confusing so if you I would pause this video and write this down, put it on a 3x5 card, and if I get a chance, I'll put it into a nice little infographic cheat sheet for us.